It's like the, the steak took a in my mouth. <laughs> Don't curse, bro. Don't say that. <laughs> That's how mad I am at this steak. But I'm gonna go ahead and curse on the video. I'm gonna say it again too. No. It's like the steak had diarrhea in my <laughs> mouth. What's wrong? Is that there's another one? <laughs> When your uncle makes fun of you when you're making that face, you know this steak is something special. This is the pineapple disintegration experiment. Today we're going to find out if pineapple can completely disintegrate a steak. If you are unfamiliar with the enzymes of pineapple, it's pretty straightforward. It has an enzyme called bromelain. It has the ability to cut down in proteins and I've used it several times in steaks. It makes it more tender. However, I have only done it for the maximum of 45 minutes, never more. And I want to know how much is too much. There's only one way to find out and we're going to do this experiment. So let's do it. This is a full choice grade New York strip loin. To make sure there's no variation between meats, I'll be cutting steaks directly from it. Once I slice them open, you can see it has a wonderful marbling. And that's what you're looking for when you're choosing your steaks. Now that we have the steaks ready, I want you to take a look at it. This is what it looks like now. It's a solid steak. You can see there's quite a bit of fat, perfectly intact, and I want you to remember it because it will look nothing like this once we're done. Now to give it a real world comparison, I am going to trim a little bit of the fat. Once I was done, I have perfectly trimmed steaks and these are ready to be cooked, but that's not what we're doing today. Now to extract our enzymes. The enzymes are not only located inside of the fruit, but also in the skin. The only part that does not contain the enzymes is the crown and it will be the only part I'm not going to be using. I know it sounds weird that I'm going to also be using the skin, but you have to remember we're not going to be eating the pineapple. We're only using it for the enzymes. Once it has done its job, it needs to be discarded. To ensure that every part of the steak will have contact, it is best to blend it. I'm blending it fine to make a soup out of it. That will make sure that the steak is completely covered with the pineapple slush. Now that it's ready, all there's left to do is soak them in. And here's how it's going to go down. The first steak will be marinated in pineapple for 24 hours. The second one will be in there for 16 hours. The third one, we're only leaving it for six. And the very last one will stay in there for one hour. If you are interested in learning detailed information about each individual steak, I made a separate video. It is way too disturbing to watch it on this video and it's not for everyone. But I know some of you will want to watch the scientific part of it. And if you're interested, the link will be down on the description down below so you can watch it later on. But now let me show you all the steaks and what they look like once everything was washed off. It is pretty straightforward. You can examine yourself. But now that they are ready to be cooked, I'm going to be seasoning them very simple. I used salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. Now that we have every steak seasoned and ready, I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook them. So let's do it.
All right, we have our beautiful steaks here. What do you think, Anjo? Well, I'm gonna say this, man. I've never seen you make a steak, say that it's beautiful, <laughs> and then it doesn't have a crust. I know, I knew he was gonna say that because I'm the crust guy. I can't live without crust. We love some crust, right? The crust is important. But there's an experiment with this steak here. All right, okay. so. Let's find out. I want to know your opinion. So we're going to go in a row. We have steak uh, A, B, C, and D. We're going to find out what you're going to make. Yep. Thank God. Why? Because <laughs> that one looks like it has a little bit of a crust. Yeah, this is the only one that looks like a little bit of a crust. Steak one. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Wow. That's Soft. what I'm talking about. Soft. Super tender. Juicy. Extremely juicy. Mm -hmm. Flavorful. A nice, wonderful steak. Not too much crust, but a little bit. I like this one. Are you ready for the second one, Andrew? Let's go for it, man. I, Dig I in, guess, my brother. I guess we're doing this. Let's see if there's any difference. Okay. A little bit of crust. Okay. Very little. The steak is gray, everybody. That's one of the things with this method. You can't get a very pronounced crust. Anyway, second steak. Cheers, buddy. Mm. Oh, super tender. Yeah. A little weird flavor. Mm -mm. The flavor is fine. The feeling. The texture. It's like dust in my mouth. I have a little weird flavor too. Like, I know what it is. I know you don't know. No, I don't. It's not a flavor that's I don't like it. this one, Angel. This one has like a dusty, like a wet dust feeling in your mouth. When you're biting it, it's like disintegrating it. There is no bite to it. It's just like powder. I'm still chewing it because that, I don't want to swallow. That feeling in your mouth is just not nice. That is horrible. Yeah, I'm not excited now. I don't like that one at all, everybody. Oh, man. The way it feels. Like, yeah, it's, it's tender, but it's not like the regular tender like it's tender but it has like this like grainy like it's it's literally like falling off like dusty and ugh. yeah it's like when you bite on it there's a bunch of little bits that just comes apart on your mouth uh i'm not really excited for the next one hmm. uh, i feel ready? like i got steak smeared on my tongue perfect description i agree I'm afraid to eat the third one. Uh, maybe we should split this one in half, no? Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Let's split this one in half because I'm not convinced. Uh, uh, the feeling of it. It looks bad. It is not a very appetizing steak. Let's say that. Yeah. This is not appetizing. But we're well, going to try it anyway and find out let's, what it tastes. Let's go for it. Third one, everybody. Uh, uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> that one has less flavor, too. Uh, when you buy it, it's just like uh, it's mush. It's a mush. Yeah. It's not a. I can't swallow it. Hold on. I, I swallow it just to get rid of it fast. Give me a second, everybody. Excuse me. I apologize. This is the very first time I think I ever done that. Um, that one is totally unedible. What's wrong? Is that there's another one? <laughs> Like it started okay. It started great and then... And like immediately started going down. We have to take one for the team. Hold on, hold on. We have tried some amazing steaks on this channel, everybody. If you have, if you are new here, you got to check out some amazing steaks. Look, look. Because this is terrible. Go down there. <laughs> Go down there. Click the, the, the little picture that looks kind of like this. <laughs> And see the library. And just, just look. Yes. This is a good video. This, they're, they're all since, wonderful. Since this is obviously not a good video, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is terrible. Uh, look at this. What is that? I mean, look. Will I shake it? <laughs> you ready for it, buddy? No. Cheers, everybody. What? All right. Cheers. <laughs> all right, enough, enough commodities. Good luck, Guga. Good luck, Angel. Oh. Oh, what the hell, man? Oh. Ah. I have to feel the texture for you guys. The taste. The it's the taste is not bad. It's not bad taste. It's like the the steak took a in my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> you don't curse, bro. Don't say that. 
That's how mad I am at this steak. But I'm gonna go ahead and curse on the video. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again too. No. It's like the steak had diarrhea in my <laughs> mouth. Hold on. Give me one second, I'll describe the flavor. Hold on. I don't know what you were trying to achieve because it looks like you're trying to get tender. Yes. And however it is that you went about this is completely wrong. <laughs> you should have Well, went this one is good then. I feel I'm like gonna tell you what it is. This is the pineapple AMR. experiment, Angel. We got pineapple for one hour, six hours, sixteen hours, and twenty-four hours. And that's what happened. Yeah. Is that you should have went ten minutes, <laughs> fifteen minutes, thirty minutes, an hour. Guga does it differently. Guga goes, oh, let's go all out. Yeah, we gotta go all out. That's that's what look, it is. Look, two more minutes. This steak wouldn't be a steak. It would have just disintegrated. The problem is when you take a bite on it, it leaves pieces behind your mouth that is extremely unpleasant. Hey. And it's not fun to eat. I got you. Regardless of the taste, the mushiness that it has, it's just horrible. It's very unpleasant and very unappetizing. To answer that question, will pineapple disintegrate a steak, Angel? Yeah. Absolutely. It feels like dust. It feels like dust. That's a perfect description. It is not good. If you are going to use the pineapple method, it works great, but be careful. Do not even think about going more than an hour. An hour will be max. 30 minutes is good. 45 minutes is okay. One hour max. If you have not seen the tenderizing experiments, make sure you check it out. There's already three of them that we tested acid. We test pineapples and fruits and we tested mangoes. We tested uh, yogurt. I mean, there's, I tested everything to tenderize it and we still have a fourth one coming real soon. Yeah, and, and if, if you guys want to see more battles, let me know and we're going to make it happen. Yeah. And if you go and watch the first one, you might see me with hair. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you're interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.